Hello and welcome to today's class on podcasts. Uh, today is March 25th, 2020, and this is a uh, an online version, really, of a class that I've taught recently at the Carlsbad Senior Center. So uh, let's jump right in. Um, what are podcasts? And maybe you're asking yourself, uh, why would I ever use them um, if I decide that or that I want to use them or my friends are talking about them or I've decided that I should learn more about them. Where do I find them and, and where do I get them? Um, once I find them and get them, how do I listen to them? What kind of device do you recommend for using for playback? Um, do you have some recommended uh, podcasts to offer? In other words, uh, there are <laughs> thousands, tens of thousands of podcasts out there and more coming online every day. So maybe you'd like a few ideas of uh, how to get started on some of the more popular podcasts. And I'm happy to share with you the ones that are uh, kind of favorites of mine. And then you might say, hey, well, how about a little demonstration? What does it look like when I'm using one of those podcast apps on my smartphone? So I will uh, do a demonstration of the podcast app using my iPhone and uh, the official podcast app that comes standard on all of Apple's uh, iOS products. In fact, probably the Mac as well. So let's move on to the first question. Uh, what are podcasts? Uh, essentially, they are audio files, just like an audio book. Um, in this case, they are downloaded from the internet. I will say that occasionally they can be video podcasts. So it would be a video file, which would include audio, of course. But I say at least 90% of all podcasts are audio only, so uh, no video involved. Um, the thing that also distinguishes them is the fact that they are published periodically. So they're kind of like a magazine. They come out on a certain frequency. Um, that frequency can be uh, every day. Um, it can be every week, which is quite common. Or uh, so in some cases, it's almost ad hoc whenever the author of the uh, podcast has enough content to put together, they will uh, publish a podcast. Um, so if you think about it, it's kind of a cross between an audio book and a magazine. Um, similar to an audio book, it's a file and you listen to it using a device, usually a smartphone or an iPod, something like that. Um, and the magazine part is that it's published periodically and it's much shorter in duration. Um, Almost every podcast is available free. It certainly has, almost everyone I know of, has a free version. Now, some of them are starting to offer premium versions, and that would mean you'd pay a few bucks, um, and it would allow you to perhaps skip the advertising that is becoming common in podcasts. You might be saying, well, yeah, that's great, but why would I care? Why, why would I use a podcast? So number one is the convenience of it's on your timetable. Um, secondly, you can listen on the go. In other words, you don't have to be sitting in front of a radio. Um, you can be in the car. Granted, th the car has a radio usually, but now you can be listening to it while you're driving along and irrespective of the broadcast schedule. Um, you can be listening to it when you're doing your exercise walk. Um, you can be listening to it in the evening before you go to bed as a way to relax. The other reason to use a podcast is, frankly, for entertainment. Uh, many of the podcasts are, I would call, storytelling um, narratives. You might call them like um, a news magazine is what the television programs would probably call them. Um, most publications from Time Magazine to The Economist to NBC, CBS, HBO, uh, well, I don't know about HBO, but um, all of the main broadcast sources um, have a podcast channel, and they're pushing out much of their content uh, in the podcast world. Um, news and current events, that's a very big category in the world of podcasts, and there's obviously uh, no absence of news these days. Um, and then some people use it, uh, a, a, a podcast designed specifically for relaxation uh, or specifically to a guided meditation and uh, or for a sleep aid, uh, relaxing music or um, sort of a storytelling mode that encourages sleep. These are all different categories um, and 
frankly, for the same reason you would watch a TV program or a radio program for entertainment or education or news, um, you might use a podcast uh, instead. Um, you might say, okay, you've convinced me, Mike. <laughs> All right, I'll give it a try. Um, where do I find these and, and how do I get it once I find it? Well, you will use an app that runs on your smartphone. Um, there's another way that I'll mention in a minute if you're not using it on a smartphone, but most people use a smartphone. That can be either Apple's uh, smart devices in the iOS world, that's an iPhone or an iPad, uh, or even the Mac, I think, can uh, subscribe to podcasts and play them back. Um, so most people do it that way, and in any podcast app, there is usually a category called Browse, which will show you popular recent programs that they think you might be interested in, um, or a directory that's searchable. So you can go in and search for a specific title that you may have heard about from a friend or you may have read about in a review in a magazine about popular podcasts. Um, once you have settled on it, the app is also used to get the podcast by subscribing to it. Now, this term subscribing is familiar from the magazine, uh, magazine world, right? So, again, when you subscribe to a podcast, you're telling the publisher of the podcast you'd like to use the app to download their episodes as they come. Now, some episodes are every day. Um, some episodes are every week. Daily and weekly are probably the most common. In that podcast app, uh, you will adjust the settings for each podcast. For example, you can tell uh, one podcast, hey, I want you to download the most recent show and only the most recent show to my device. The rest of them, you can show me the titles of the other shows that came earlier and if I want to I'll go listen to them when I'm connected to the internet or I can download them to my device for listening on the go but just download the most recent one or the most recent three or the most recent one that I haven't listened to already there are quite a few choices in terms of how you adjust these settings the other method I mentioned a slide ago if you choose to listen to podcasts using an iPod device. Now, the, the iPod is that original device that kind of started the digital revolution, uh, whereby music was loaded onto this device, and then you had a pair of earbuds, and then off you went on your walk or sitting around listening to music, mostly. If you have an earlier iPod, the really small ones that you can clip to your hat or clip to your shirt, um, you can download your podcasts and your music to those devices using the iTunes software. Now, iTunes software is published by Apple. Uh, it is available both on the Mac and on Windows. Uh, in fact, most iTunes users are Windows-based because there's so many more Windows computers out there. Um, and you would use the iTunes software as the directory to go browsing, and then you would subscribe in that iTunes software, and then you plug in your device, uh, either using a wire or wirelessly linked to your iTunes software, and download those things to your device. So now they are on the device. You don't have to be connected to the Internet at all. You can be in airplane mode uh, on a smartphone, for example. Um, on an iPod, there's you're not really connected to the Internet, so you're, there's no need to be in airplane mode. And off you go. Um, and the beauty of that is you can be anywhere um, and you're in all set to listen to your music or your podcasts. So now that you've got the podcast, uh, how do you listen to them? Or in the case of a, a video one, how would you view them? Um, well, you use the podcast app that you have been using on your phone or tablet or even your uh, Mac computer. Um, or you've already downloaded the episodes to your iPod using the iTunes software that we talked about on the previous slide. So the podcasts are already on your device, and what you do is you fire up the app and you find the podcast of interest and you press play. Uh, I will mention that some of the podcast apps will show you a list of podcast episodes without automatically downloading them to your device. And if that's the case, if you have not used the settings to tell it to download, then you could touch that 
particular episode and commence a download. Or sometimes people say, gosh, I don't have enough room on my phone to hold anything else. So they can play it back using a, what's called um, a streaming over the internet. Now, that means that you're requiring the internet to listen to it. Um, so be aware that if you're walking around doing your exercise walk and you're streaming a, an episode of a podcast, um, you are using cellular data because you're not on your home Wi-Fi. So if you have not downloaded the episodes to your device, then if you're listening to them, then you're listening to them using streaming audio. And that comes with the consequence of uh, using streaming um uh, the infrastructure for streaming, which is called cellular data or Wi-Fi if you're within Wi-Fi range. Now, a few tips about how to listen. Um, one nice thing about a uh, podcast is that you can pick up right where you left off. So if you're two-thirds of the way through your favorite podcast and you got to run and do something, you just stop the podcast and when you get back to it, it picks up where you left off. So that's great. Um, and something that a lot of people don't know, many podcast apps you can adjust allow you to adjust the playback speed um, and that might seem kind of weird why would you do that well um, for example if you're used to listening to a podcast and you can tell the first part of it is going to be sort of an introduction before they get to the real meat of the matter you might want to play back the podcast faster than normal speed and the beauty is the software will adjust the pitch of the voices so that they don't turn into chipmunks. Um, it's very easy to listen to. It just accelerates the playback. So it sounds more like this. You can pick up where you left off. You can adjust the playback speed. So you can understand that when you, especially if you tune your ear to it. Uh, I quite often listen to most of my podcasts at 125%, um, meaning 25% faster than the standard. Um, in some cases, you can even listen at 50 or 200% if you're really just kind of scanning. You want to be able to understand basically what they're talking about to find a spot in the podcast, and then you stop and you slow it back down to normal. So uh, being able to adjust the playback speed is, is really great. Um, there's another thing I'm not sure we mentioned when it came to the uh, advertising stuff. Uh, and I think I did, but if I didn't, you can skip ahead by a certain number of seconds. Most podcast apps have a button that if you touch it, it'll jump forward by a certain number of seconds, or there's a, bu a button to t let you to jump backwards a certain number of seconds. And those, those numbers of seconds can be adjusted. Again, some of these features are what make certain podcast apps more popular than others. Um, but just about everyone I know has some way to skip forward and skip back uh, conveniently. So that makes it a very efficient way to listen. Um, let's talk about some recommendations. Um, as far as the apps go, there are probably tens if not hundreds of apps that are podcast apps. Um, in the iOS world, which is the Apple world, the number one is the one that's called podcast. There's the icon for it, the symbol against the purple background. And that's popular because it's standard on every iPhone um, and every iPod. So by default, when it comes with your device, you tend to use it. Um, the other, there are many other uh, uh, podcast apps out there that are competing against Apple's podcast app because they have, in their opinion, better features. And sometimes you'll pay, if you like the free version, great, but if you pay $2 more, you get some really nice features. Um, and the one that I like in the Apple world that runs on the Apple iOS devices is uh, called Overcast, and I'm showing you the logo uh, right there, the Overcast logo. But there are many more. Um, for example, on the next line, Stitcher. Stitcher runs on both Apple and Android devices. Um, Google Podcasts probably runs on both. I haven't tried it. Uh, on Android, I used to use an Android telephone, and I really liked uh, an app called Beyond Pod. And I was really sad that it didn't run on Apple when I switched to an Apple iPhone about a year ago. But if you're an Android user, I can highly recommend the Beyond Pod uh, app. I, I used it and I paid, I think, three bucks to get the premium version and really, really loved it. Um, 
let's talk about podcasts themselves and some favorites that you might want to start with. Um, being sort of a techie guy, I listen to the Tech Guy podcast with Leo Laporte. You may have heard Leo on local radio stations. He's syndicated across the country on Saturdays and Sundays. He does a tech call-in show where he uh, takes phone calls from people that are trying to decide what to buy or they've got a problem with their smartphone or whatever. And he, it's a question and answer over the phone uh, program. And it can go on for a couple of hours, uh, two or three hours, and sometimes both Saturday and Sunday. That's a lot of material. So I like to listen to it in a podcast format so I can speed it up and kind of move through that quickly. Uh, another one that's popular is called Rich on Tech. Uh, Rich is a broadcaster in the LA television market, and he has a podcast called Rich on Tech. Very similar, uh, shorter in duration, uh, but still good and worthy of uh, checking out if you're interested in tech stuff. Um, from the NPR world, Fresh Air with Terry Gross is a popular show in the in NPR world and very popular in the podcast world. Uh, TED Talks, you've heard about TED Talks. You can get quite, I mean, hundreds of TED, talk, TED Talks <laughs> available on the in the podcast directory under TED Talks. Uh, Planet Money and Freakonomics. These are two uh, shows that have to do with, uh, as you might guess, economics. Um, I'm a econ major, so I'm interested in especially the area called behavioral economics, which has to do with what, what incentives out there in the marketplace encourage or discourage people from doing different things. Um, so you might, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, uh, Freakonomics, as you may recall, there were the very successful books by that name, the Freakonomics book. Um, same people involved with publishing the podcast. Uh, here are some more favorites that you might want to try. Um, most of these were recommended to me by other podcast lovers. Um, 60 Second Science. Guess what? In one minute, they brief you on some new development in science, and it's great. Um, Hidden Brain, that's a similar uh, tech show. Well, I should say it's a science-oriented show, but it's longer. It's about 30 minutes. Um, the Truth is a storytelling, uh, fiction-based storytelling so it's like radio drama kind of stuff but a little bit more contemporary than listening to old uh, Lone Ranger rebroadcasts. Um, Snap Judgment is another great storytelling podcast so is This American Life. Um, KPBS Roundtable that's a program that runs on television and on the radio in the local San Diego market um, and it's the editors of several newspapers discussing the affairs of the of the week. It's a weekly show, uh, and how do those issues affect uh, San Diego? So it's politics and current events and all kinds of stuff kind of wrapped up into one. I kind of use it to stay current in case I miss some of the newspapers that that week. This is kind of a nice way to hear some smart people commenting on the news of the day. If you're interested in foreign languages. There's a whole series uh, under the Coffee Break series, Coffee Break French and German and Spanish and whatever you like. And then uh, there's one called Awesome Etiquette, uh, which is kind of fun, and you might want to give that a try. The uh, next part of the program is going to be a demonstration. Uh, I'll be using my own iPhone. It's running uh, iOS 13.3, which is current for today. They just dropped, uh, just came out with 13.4. I haven't upgraded that yet. And I will be using Apple's standard podcast app because that's the one most people use. <music> Okay, let's take a look at the podcast app from Apple, and there's the icon. I'm going to tap it to open the app. Uh, the first screen that comes up is something called the library, and I'll draw your attention to the four icons on the bottom of the screen. Uh, they indicate uh, the four different major areas in the app. You can see that library is the second icon from the left. It's illuminated in purple. And that's where we are right now. Let's look at a few things in here, starting with shows. Um, I'm going to tap on shows, and here we are. 
I wish Apple re called this um, podcasts instead of shows. Shows sort of implies a TV show or something like that. These are my podcasts. Now, um, for simplicity's sake, I've narrowed it down to just uh, six podcasts on the app. And these are podcasts that I've already subscribed to, so they show up under shows. So if you think about shows as your podcast, then you're on the right track. Let me go back a step by tapping in the upper left corner. The next category here is uh, episodes. Let me tap that. And this now opens to a listing of specific episodes within those six podcasts. And these are sorted by uh, the most recent issued podcast at the top. So at the beginning, you see that the first one from NPR Fresh Air is dated today. And then the one below it is dated today. And the one below it is dated Wednesday, which is yesterday. So um, that's the order of this. And if I want to start listening to this episode, I could tap it. Um, you'll make You'll notice that some of the episodes have an icon to the right of the name that looks like a cloud with a down arrow. That's a sign to me that I have not yet downloaded this episode to my phone, that it's still living in the cloud. And if I want it on my phone, I have to do that download. If I'm content simply to listen to it streaming from the cloud, which means I have to have internet, either Wi-Fi or cellular data, then I could just touch the title of the episode and it would start to play. But I prefer to download all the episodes. I have enough room on my phone and I download those episodes so that there's never a question about whether or not I need internet to listen to something. Because if I'm out on an exercise walk, I don't want to be burning up cellular data and I'm certainly not in my uh, home for Wi-Fi. Um, let's see if all of these episodes, now some of these down below, I have already, they're older and I've already downloaded them. Some of them still need to be downloaded if I wanted to um, take them with me for, for a, a walk or something, okay? Um, I guess we can experiment with one. Let's, uh, let's go to this one here called Ocean Plastic Smells Great to Sea Turtles. <laughs> how, can you, how can you resist a podcast like that? Uh, the good news is it's only 60 seconds long, so whatever it is we can handle. I'm going to tap that down arrow from the cloud, and let's see what happens. An icon opens up the typical progress that shows uh, loading to your device. And now that, this, now that this episode, Ocean Plastic Smells Great to Sea Turtles, is on the phone, I'm going to go back a step by tapping in the upper left corner and I want to go to the next category called downloaded episodes. So let me tap that. This is where I like to operate from. When I go to listen to these episodes, I go to this list of downloaded episodes. So I know that these are on my device. So we can kind of scan down here. Now the one that I just downloaded ought to be in here. Sure enough, there it is. Uh, Ocean, o Ocean Pacific smells great to sea turtles. Um, I'm sorry, ocean plastic smells great to sea turtles. Need new glasses here. Uh, that was uh, published back March 19th, so that's why it's at the bottom of the list. But um, I can tap it, and we'll we'll see what happens. Upwork has the world's largest network of independent professionals. So if you need a UI First, designer, we're an advertisement. Hey guys, Kevin. A full stack developer. If I this tap it again, or a whole team of designers and developers working together. Display hey, you've got the full team here. Uh, myself, here. Rachel, Adam, and Stephanie. And I can pause it. And I can resume it by hitting the play hey, button. Hey, how's it going? Hi. I'll pause it. I'll start playing it, and I'm going to tap the little circle to the right, which will advance it uh, by by skipping ahead, if you will. So let's do that. Upwork has agencies to run into plastic, jump, so foul jump, plastic. Jump. Pila, go forth. A P and you'll notice there's a progress bar right underneath, uh, right underneath the graphic there. Um, that kind of shows you your progress within the podcast episode, and there's a time meter there as well. Looks like we've got a minute and 12 seconds left to go to listen to this thing. If you want to get rid of this, you can... Uh, well, let me point out one more thing. Um, 
In the lower left corner, there's an icon that says 1x. This is where you adjust the speed of the playback. And if you are willing to listen closely, you might want to play this back at a faster speed just to move through the material faster. We covered that in some of the slides in the earlier part of this class. Let's try it at one and a half times speed. PhD student in biology at University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. The research team found that the loggerhead turtles had similar responses. So that's definitely faster, but to my ear, it is still acceptable. Um, so anyway, to get rid of this screen, I'm gonna swipe down from the top and I get back to the list of all the downloaded episodes, okay? Now, I'm gonna go back one step by tapping in the upper left corner, and I wanna illustrate something that's important. On the bottom, second from the right is an icon, icon called Browse. Let me tap it. Uh, these are podcasts that are, in some cases, recently released, and Apple, is promoting these podcasts. So if you are a podcast creator, you would love to be featured in here as new and exciting podcasts to be listened to. However, down below you have many more choices and these tend to be in categories. Like this one is stories and adventures. So if you want something that's a little bit more of a narrative, uh, storytelling, maybe fiction, um, you might wanna come down here. But this is kind of a nice place, I guess, to browse. I don't want to say aimlessly, but you can just browse and maybe try something for fun. Download it. If you don't like it, you just stop it and delete it. No, no harm done. Um, but I do want to show you how to find a specific podcast. If, for example, you decide you want to try something specific and you know the name of the podcast, um, you'll want to use the icon that's in the lower right corner called the search icon. So let me tap that. And you'll notice that there's a search bar at the top and it's waiting for me to type something in there. So I'm going to tap on it. And you'll notice before it lets me type, I have a choice between all podcasts or your library. You want to make sure you are on all podcasts. If you have your library, it's only going to search on your your library, your already subscribed to podcasts. That's not what you want. You want to find something new out there in the world of podcasts. So I'm going to try something. I had a friend recommend a, a podcast from NPR called Up First. It's like a digest of the hot stories uh, uh, every morning. So I'm going to start searching for the word first. And I'm going to hit the search button. And this is the result of the search, and I'm lucky. These are all uh, podcasts with the name, with the word first in the title. Um, and the one I want is the first one listed. Ha, <laughs> no pun intended. I'm going to tap it now. And it's going to open it up. It's going to say, well, this is a podcast called Up First. There's a purple icon with the word subscribe in it, so I could subscribe to it. I can read a little bit about it. If I tap the word more, it'll tell me more about it. Uh, it'll start showing me the titles of these episodes. Um, and if I think I like it, I would probably subscribe to it. So I'm going to tap that. And it says you've subscribed, so you're all set. And now I'm going to go back a step. And I'm going to cancel out of the search box, and I'm going to go to the library icon on the bottom, second from the left. And now I'm going to tap on shows and with some luck, hey, there it is, up first. That is now showing up here because I have subscribed to it. Uh, that completes our brief look at uh, the podcast app from Apple. So give it a look and if you like it, then you're all set. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the demonstration. See you later. Okay, well that uh, can, wraps up our session for today. I was about to say continues, but no, we're finished. <laughs> so um, thanks for tuning in. I hope this has been helpful, especially to people that have heard about podcasting and are kind of new uh, and young in their approach to the whole topic. I hope it's been a good overview. Um, talk to your friends that are already doing podcasting. I'm sure they've got some great tips for you. Um, I'm going to be putting new content on the YouTube 
channel. You see it there, youtube.com forward slash photo McMahon. Um, intentionally misspelled that way. Um, so photo McMahon is the place where you'll find uh, quite a few videos that I've, in fact, I'm putting out more now um, so that I'm substituting the classes that I would normally teach face to face at the senior center. I'm doing them via um, online broadcasting using YouTube. So, and then I do keep a website uh, and you see it there, mikemctechguy.com. Uh, so thanks for checking in today. Uh, hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.